some people who call Ross Township home. At first glance, this footage from a security camera near the event center at Ross High School looks unremarkable. At least that's what senior Josh Dameron thought. Whenever I heard the news, I thought, well, maybe it's just somebody, you know, maybe had the bullets in their pocket or something because a lot of us go hunting around here and stuff. So, um, but once I saw the video, I was like, yeah, somebody, that dude intentionally did that. Ross Township Police Chief Burton Roberts says the video shows a man heading toward an SUV on Sunday after placing six unused 22 caliber shell casings on the ground next to the school. After a school worker found the bullets yesterday, district officials sent an alert to parents. The gentleman looks like an, an older male white, probably in his 60s or 70 years of age. So right now, unfortunately, we have more questions than we have answers. So there was no note, no threats, anything along those lines. Roberts believes the SUV is an early 2000 model Chevy Trailblazer. So far, investigators can't make out the vehicle's license plate. With so many unknowns, Chief Roberts and school officials added extra layers of vigilance today. We have increased our presence in the school to make sure that everybody is safe. Principal and superintendent were outside whenever we were going in the school, so yeah, you could tell. Dameron says everyone should know by now that putting bullets by a school building is a bad idea. Yeah, it's like, What's the reason? Like, what's that dude got against, or what was he planning? Now, I can tell you, I talked to other Ross Township residents today who think the situation really isn't that big of a deal. They are convinced that what happened was an absent minded hunting enthusiast making just a simple mistake. All Police Chief Burton Roberts wants to do is find this person in question and figure out the truth one way or the other. Reporting live tonight in Ross Township, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5. Yeah, still a lot of unanswered questions here. Now, Todd, if detectives determine the man was up to no good, are there criminal charges that could go into play here? Well, it's possible, Ashley. I can tell you that the police chief has been in touch with the Butler County Sheriff's Office to try to figure out uh, next steps should the investigation yield information that there were bad intentions at play here. Uh, chief Roberts also reaching out to federal authorities to see if they'd like to get involved with this case. So a lot of eyes on this right now, but it does seem like there could be some movement in the coming days. Ashley? Todd Dykes reporting live. Thanks so much, Todd. Well, look.